Hello, my name is Wina Mewisa, and I'm one of the co-authors of the Zurich Consensus Statement on Concussion in Sport. So welcome to this video abstract, uh, where we will summarize some of the new things that have come out from the 2012 Zurich Consensus Conference. Some of the key principles that came out through this uh, process were first that concussion is an evolving injury that often changes over the first few hours or even the first few days after injury. That uh, serial assessment of the concussed athlete is important due to this evolving nature. That a conservative approach or cautious approach to remove players uh, from play that have been diagnosed with concussion is important. Uh, to avoid re-injury and to start the process of recovery. It's expected in about 80% of athletes that they do recover uh, spontaneously with rest over the first 7 to 10 days. One of the key concepts that did come out of the meeting were that in people who don't recover by 10 days, about 20% of athletes in this case, uh, that a multidisciplinary assessment is uh, important and that it may be worthwhile looking at forms of therapy that could include things like physiotherapy, vestibular therapy, or even sub-threshold, sub-symptom threshold exercise as a form of management uh, that can assist with recovery if not improved after the first 10 days. There's a couple of new tools that came out uh, with this as well, uh, the Support Concussion Assessment Tool version 3 and a specific child version for ages 5 to 12. And the third one is a pocket concussion recognition tool that's intended uh, for the layperson, for parents and coaches. The SCAT 3 itself is intended for, for medical personnel, uh, but the pocket concussion recognition tool is meant for parents and coaches, really with the objective of identifying when a concussion may have occurred so the player can be removed from play and seek medical evaluation. So we invite you to read the, uh, the entire consensus statement and have a look at the tools and we hope you enjoy this contribution from our concussion and support group.